So I'm sure by now most people have seen Adventures with Purpose video on the Kylie Rodney story. The video released to members only yesterday, but it will be available to the public tomorrow. So in this video, we find out some new information. It starts out with an interview with a man named Nick who works for Roadside Assistance. Now, Nick just so happened to see Adventures with Purpose coming into town when him and his girlfriend were at a local Best Buy and flagged them down. Now, Nick says he got a call for Boca and Truckee. It was a battery call, which means that the vehicle was not starting. So Nick responds to this call in Boca and realizes that everything is working great on the vehicle. Now Nick says that it was a male and a female and that he noticed that they were acting pretty hesitant and he was very uneasy. Nick says that the female was asking very strange questions in the sense of how to put on your seatbelt correctly and asked him to show her how to connect it to her actual belt. Nick states that the female tells him that she was there all night and she couldn't get her vehicle started due to the fact that now they both realized the car was actually in neutral. He describes the female as wearing a gray, dark sweatshirt. Then he goes on to describe the male that was also with her and he says that the male was wearing a white bro tank and a black flat bill SF hat. He describes the male as having a thinner build, a white bro tank on, and that he also had some freckles, maybe acne, and had some brown hair that was sticking out from the hat. So Nick has stated that he has allegedly seen Kylie the day after the party on Saturday the 6th at around 11 a.m. and that she was with someone else, a male. So Nick also says that he realized about a week later when he saw the Kylie Rodney flyer at a coffee shop and that is when he contacted law enforcement. So there is video footage and law enforcement does have that. Now Adventures with Purpose asked Nick if he made a call to them before he went out to the scene. Nick says yes, that he did call, but it went straight to voicemail. They also asked Nick if the female had a cell phone on her. To which Nick responds that she did and that her phone was dead. After that video came out, Zav Girl was on a live stream in which Brian Upchurch joined and then Jared from AWP joined. So Jared lets us know in this video that there is things that Adventures with Purpose has left out of their main video and if and when more information comes out, they have two more videos to release. This new video is definitely going to have lots of speculation flying, but I encourage you to do your own research, watch Adventures with Purpose video, and form your own opinion. Thank you so much for watching.